Nibiru Planet X may have been responsible for catastrophic events in ancient Egypt about uh, 1600 BC, enabling Moses to free the Israelites at the time of the Exodus. This is what some astronomers and scientists say. The mysterious planet X Nibiru was responsible for the downfall of ancient Egypt and allowed Moses to lead the Israelites away from slavery, according to Christian conspiracy theorists, and Nibiru or Planet X or Nemesis or Wormwood, there's various names to it, or Planet 10, Planet 9, is an alleged planetary object that supposedly lurks at the edge of our solar system, which is heading inwards and will supposedly cause the apocalypse on Earth, which will wipe out most of the population. This is how the uh, theory goes. But some believe that is part of our solar system with a strange orbit that passes through the other planets of our galactic neighborhood every few thousand years. There are those that believe that Earth has a binary. Uh, Earth, uh, Earth's star has a binary. As uh, astronomers claim that at least 30% of stars have binaries, if not more. And uh, it could be that we also have a binary that returns every so often. Now, one of the latest, the latest claims is that during the last period, Nibiru, or Planet X, passed through the solar system. It wreaked havoc on the most powerful empire of the time, which was ancient Egypt and the Pharaoh, Pharaoh empires, which led to the downfall and also allowed Moses and the, the Israelites to escape. The uh, conspiracy website Enki Speaks explained that the entry of Nibiru through the inner solar system, about 1,500 BC or so, created havoc in Egypt, a lot of geological changes as we know, astronomical changes, and as Nibiru passed between Mars and Jupiter in its clockwise transit through the plane of the inner solar, solar planets, it created volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, etc. The earthquakes crumbled Egypt's stone buildings on solid ground and the Red Sea receded and rushed back and forth, but the shaking earth spared the flexible reed huts of the Israelite slave population of 600,000 descendants of Jacob, whose ancestors had come to Egypt when Jacob's son Joseph was the second to Pharaoh, Egypt's overseer. As we know at that time, there was a famine in the land, and Joseph was able to interpret the Pharaoh's dream of the seven fat cows and the seven lean cows being the years of plenty and then the uh, years of famine. And that's how Joseph was able to save Egypt, who was then given grain to all of the areas of um, the Levant and Israel. From one of the previous uh, videos that we did recently, geologists claim, and archaeologists claim, that that famine lasted about 150 years. So you can imagine how bad it was. Now, uh, the shaking of the earth spared the flexible reeds, and uh, that was at the time of Joseph as Egypt's overseer. The Egyptian prince Moses, he was the prince of Ethiopia, as we know, led the Israelites and terrified Egyptians who joined them through the swamps of the, uh, reeds, uh, the Sea of Reeds and the Red Sea. And the Red Sea as the waters receded in a series of earthquakes. It's not the first claim that Nibiru has passed through our solar system and recapped on Earth. We know that this was also told by an ancient um, high priest of Egypt to Solon, the Athenian lawmaker, who told it to Plato that uh, the, this uh, inbound planetary system comes in every so often. It has in the past wreaking havoc, and one of the times it did so, the uh, continent of Atlantis sunk, and it will be doing so in the future, he said. So that's how Plato learned about Atlantis, through what was passed on to him, details having to do with past cataclysms and uh, tremendous floods because of this inbound planetary thing. Now, in 1985, Daniel Whitmire, a math instructor from the University of Arkansas, published a paper arguing the existence of a planet on the edge of our solar system. And more recently, Whitmire said the planet could be responsible for comets hitting Earth. And put simply, the mathematician believes that the mysterious planet orbits the sun like every other planet in our solar system but that it happens every 26 to 7 million years. It passes through an asteroid belt known as the Kuiper Belt, and when it travels through this region, 
It causes comets and asteroids to deflect off it and fire out into the universe or towards our sun into the uh, inner solar system. Widmeyer argues that this may have caused the uh, 64 million year ago resulting in the extinction of the dinosaurs and claims to have evidence to back up this theory. Now, an article published on the University of Arkansas website reads, In 1985, a look at the paleontological record supported the idea of regular comet showers dating back 250 million years. Newer research shows evidence of such events dating back as far as 500 million years. But he fails to disclose any of the evidence. This is by Sean Martin, Express UK, and it's on Bed in Reality. Please leave your comments. I think this is fascinating that we, of course, have had the, the late heavy bombardment and asteroid bombardments. Uh, we just put up a, I just put up a video today uh, of what uh, scientists found were 800 million years ago, uh, 900 million years ago, a tremendous, huge uh, asteroid bombardment uh, of uh, things flung at the Earth and our Moon and Mars. So this happens very often, it seems. Now, this is an image by Paul Cox of SLU uh, Observatory of the UK, an astronomer. And uh, he was also one of the people that showed us and told us uh, when we had a solar eclipse he, uh, that was being uh, broadcast a couple of years ago live on television. And we saw the uh, Mercury transit of the sun as well. And we saw a white body on the left on the right-hand side of the screen, and he disclosed to us at that time, saying that that was Planet X Nibiru. And uh, this is one of the images of Paul Cox as well. So uh, he says that he doesn't. the UK astronomers don't want to hide it, even though other space agencies do. Uh, I know that there are those uh, in Russia, for example, doesn't hide it, and those in Latin America. I don't know. I don't know. I've not seen it with my own eyes, but there are those that claim that they sky watch and they do see anomalies in the sky. Tell me what you think about this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.